Right champs, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the entire blueprint that I've used to build my business. And I'm gonna give you an example of one of my students who's made $42,000 in profit and pocketed that in the last 16 weeks alone. And so you can start building this too. I heard something from Hormozy recently, which was the secret is there is no secret. Now, really what that means is that there is just a bunch of work that you need to confront and get done to build whatever it is you need to build. And that is exactly what we're gonna go through in today's video. Okay, let's dive in. Right, Chan, so if you are new here, if you're new to this channel, I just wanna introduce myself and say hello. My name's Tom Youngs. I am the founder of Creator Launch. This is an organization that I've been building for a year now after previously running a social media marketing agency where we specialized in building communities online. So I've been kind of playing this online community game for a couple of years now, and we now specialize in helping coaches, consultants, freelancers, essentially one-person business owners but we're helping them predictably scale past 10K per month with one simple ad, our protocol for Instagram, one video sales letter breakdown on YouTube that helps pre-sell people before they work with us, and then one super tribe community, which is really building our personal brand and audience over the next bunch of years, decades, however long we want to do it for. And in today's video, I'm going to take you all the way through our attraction and authority flywheel, which is this is really our business model. Like if we're talking about like, what is a business model? This really is it. Like back in the day when I was younger and I didn't know anything about business, if someone said, oh, you need a business model, I assumed it was would be some like huge long document with like all these details. That was what it, like I had in my head because I didn't know anything about business. Turns out it doesn't need to be that complex. And in fact, it's super simple. So I'm gonna take you through exactly how I have built my business. Like this is the key is that, I built my business like this first, and I'm gonna show you examples of the people that I help who are now doing this themselves and having insane results, and that you can take this exact structure and do it yourself. Now, we're also going to do something very exciting we're, we're gonna spend more time on, which is actually breaking down each of these four systems that we have in my, my uh, business model, and I'm gonna be breaking down and showing you every single step you need to take to build your business machine. So you should be very excited. You should learn a ton because the truth is this is it. I heard a quote from Hormozy the other day, which was, the secret is there is no secret. The truth is, is that you just have to confront the fact that there's probably quite a lot of work that you need to do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the work that I've had to do over the past year to build, my, or past couple of years to build my business. But I'm helping people implement this within 16 weeks. So let's let's dive into it. We've got some fun stuff to cover, cover today. Now, first up, I'm gonna ask you just to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna forget to do that later on in the video. So if you do that now, it's out of the way. And if you can get that out of the way, it means you can focus fully on learning all this shit that we're gonna go into today. So please smash the like button. And if you wanna leave a nice comment, I will 100% respond to it. So please leave me a nice comment if you think this is useful. So let's uh, let's talk about the attraction and authority flywheel. Like I said, this is this is really this is the business model. I personally think that this is the most elegant and simple way to structure an online business, specifically around creators. Now, the center core piece of this business model is you you as what I call a value creator, someone who can synthesize, take all this information that's available online, offline, whatever, and really condense it into something that's gonna help someone get from where they are currently to where they wanna to get to. We kind of call that the transformation, the like point A to point B. And this is, in my opinion, the most elegant and simple way to do it. So let's talk about it. Really, there are four main systems in this kind of in this model, um, and the first one is the client attraction system. We've got the client attraction system, which is our one simple ad protocol. We've got the client conversion system, which is our video sales letter breakdown. And just going to zoom in a little bit here. So we've lost the pinch and zoom, but we've got it back. Canva always sucks. Like uh, just with 
for whatever reason, like when I come to film this and I want to like zoom in, it's like, no. And then it just throws me. So we have got the client attraction system, which is our one simple ad protocol. We've got our client conversion system, which is turning someone into an actual client. And this is involves our video sales letter breakdown and sales. Then we've got our value delivery system, which is actually getting people results. And then we've got our authority content system, which is our sales asset framework. And this is where we post long form content on our long form channels like YouTube and Spotify, and also within our private communities to help nurture and educate people from being cold. So cold audience to warm audience. Typically in the marketing world, you would consider this top of funnel down to bottom of funnel. So top of funnel is up here. If you can see, this is like a funnel shape. We've got top of funnel at the top where we're running one simple ad and we'll get it, get to kind of like what the ad structure is. For those of you who kind of like familiar with, with my system and what we run, what we're doing with that one simple ad is we're asking for something. We are not asking for a buy. We're not asking for a purchase. We are asking for something way, way less frictionful, which is a follow. So we ask people who are ideal, perfect future client. So someone that we would potentially love to work with either to tomorrow, today, down the line, we are letting the, the algorithm for the meta platform specifically on Instagram and consider this, like we're going to be using in this system, we're using the two biggest leads pool pools on earth. We've got the meta leads pool and we've got the YouTube leads pool. So the meta has like, I can't even remember how many, um, active users they've got now. It's, I, th I think it might be like 3 billion. Um, and YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world past Google, behind Google. And what that means is that we've got a lot of people on YouTube who have high search intent because they're looking for answers to their problems. And we have the, we have Mark Zuckerberg with his little fishing rod and we're able to tell Mark, we're like, Hey Mark, we want, we want to get our stuff in front of these people. And what we do is we craft a, an ad and you'll, I'll kind of direct you to some of my videos where I kind of go into the exact structure of those ads, but you can go see them in, um, on my channel, exactly how we structure them. And we're calling out who we want to work with. We're telling them how we help people. And we're saying, Hey, if you're interested, give me a follow, go check out the rest of my content because it might be interesting for you and potentially learn some stuff. So that's what we're asking for something low friction. They then build our audience. So they follow us. So what we end up having is we are building our audience with perfect future clients instead of what typically people do, which is they rely on cold, like not cold, but like organic, organic viral content. They're like relying on content to go or, or, or viral and they are not attracting an audience. They're building an audience with non-perfect fit future clients. So this is the perfect way to do this. And I'm going to cut to a little clip I filmed a little bit earlier. So I'll be back in a second. Right, champs, this is what they call in the industry a pattern interrupt. Before we get back to the uh, the main event, let's give you a little bit of a kind of walkthrough of the actual one simple ad system protocol that we use. Um, I realized that like never kind of showed in behind the scenes like how it works and you know, actually does it work? And I'm going to show you guys that it does. So this is one of my ads that I'm running currently. And you can kind of see this here. You can literally come to my channel or my profile and uh, see this ad itself, like itself. And this ad right now is killing. It's doing really well. So you've seen, you've probably seen my other trainings going into detail about how to structure the ad. There are other videos on my YouTube channel, as you can see, that go through this. Um, that is not the point of today. What I wanted to do is just show you some of the evidence of people that are following me who are my perfect future clients. Uh, so let's dive into it. Uh, so we're just going to go to the notifications over here and we're just going to scan through and see the great thing about the notifications here is that Instagram show you who's followed you from your ads. So you can see some people, um, the Kay Phillips, I don't think she's followed me from my ad, but she's a consultant, so sick. Uh, so we'll be reaching out to her soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through here and literally going to click on some people and we are just going to see if this works. So 
I, in my ad, I'm calling out coaches and co coaches, I think just coaches actually in my ad. So she was a consultant, so she found me organically, but this is just for calling out my ad. Currently it's just focused on calling out coaches. That is one lesson is that you do not want to call out multiple avatars in your ad, only one person, one type of person. Uh, so we're just gonna scan through here in real time, do this kind of fast. So Charlie, so Charlie is a men's coach. Um, Again, not going to spend too much time here, but the whole point is that Charlie starts watching my content. Charlie, how's it going? Maybe you see this video, maybe you don't. Um, let's go back and start looking. So this is literally within the last few hours, right? KL Coaching, follow me from my ad. Kenneth uh, Blankstrom and team. So I've got my ad set up to target anyone in Europe. This is specific because I know a lot of people in Europe speak English, and so I can still serve those people. So I do North America, uh, Europe, European countries, which include Norway, Finland, Sweden, um, Netherlands. Um, uh, so covering all of those people. So let's just keep on going. Um, ba -ba. So grow your passion, master coaching. So we have Instagram coach Karina. I'm guessing that's Instagram. Maybe who knows? <laughs> um, so yet another coach, uh, which is awesome. So we've had quite a few already. Um, let's keep on going down. KL Coaching. Uh, we've got Fatima Ahmed. So currently got this running in Dubai. Um, Fatima, how's it going? Um, but I'm going to change that targeting uh, because I don't think that's a perfect fit for what I'm doing at the moment. So this that test probably going to remove um, the Middle East cities. So let's keep going. We've got Hannah Oddfelt, self-belief coach. Lovely to meet you, Hannah. So as you can see, like this is, you know, this is at the moment, I'm currently, this ad is just, I'm running a new, new, new ad, testing it at about 50, I think $50 a day um, and getting 10 to 20 new follows from perfect, perfect future clients. That's the key, perfect future clients. These people could work with me today if it's if the pain if they currently have enough pain they have the means to solve that pain and they have the urgency to solve it today but 99 out, 99 out of 100 people that follow you the timing isn't going to be right so that's why we use our attraction and authority flywheel and we nurture them over time so i could keep on going um this goes back like a day or so but you can you know there we go counseling psychotherapy follow me for my ad so look, this shit works. Um, back to the main event. Okay, welcome back. So now you see this shit actually works. Let's actually go onto the client conversion system. So this is where we warm people up with a video sales letter. And this is what pre-sells our perfect future clients who are now building up an audience who this video sales letter tells people what to do, what we do, what to expect. They t it tells them about our uni unique mechanism, which you're seeing on this on this video, for example. And then what we do is we convert these people in sales calls into new clients. We then, most importantly, we actually deliver value to these new clients and we get results with them. Once we get results with them, we turn those into sales assets in the form of testimonials, case studies, which this is an example of a case study video because I'm going to show you a case study in a second. Um, interviews and thesis breakdowns, which are some of my other videos, which you'll see. So when I talk about this stuff, this is literally what I'm doing. So I'm walking the walk, talking the talk and walking the walk. And I'm going to show you an example of one of my other students who's doing the same. So let's dive into one of my other students who I started working with about 16 weeks ago, I think a little bit less, like 15, 14 weeks ago. And looking at his numbers the other day, this is Jake and he has made 42K in profit as in money going into his pockets in six, in the last 16 weeks from his micro education business, which he teaches people how to do Amazon FBA. And I'm going to literally show you the exact same system. So he runs the exact same system as we do. So what does he do? So he has, he has a one simple ad and when we talk about one simple ad, we make multiple different variants and we're always testing these variants out, but we're always just, it is literally one ad, which we're calling our ideal perfect future clients out. And that builds up his audience with perfect future clients. So perfect future clients, which builds the key with this, this, the real beauty and elegance of this is that this builds what I call pipeline equity. 
So this means you're building your audience with people who will like literally buy from you for months, years to come, which is so sick compared to, you know, there's a something out there called like broke influencer syndrome, which is where influencers who have made their audience sizes with viral content that has never spoken to like anyone, they've got these huge audiences, but they're broke. So I'd much rather have a small audience and be absolutely loaded. And Jake's a great example of that. Now he's got someone who manages his DMs, which the aim of the person in his DMs is to guide someone to the next step. So the objective is to get people to watch his video sales letter and his video sales letter is on his website and it's also on his YouTube channel. So this is a kind of, I think 10, 15 minute video, which breaks down exactly who he is, what he does and how he helps people. And then the next call to action is to join a waiting list. Now, uh, Jake is a great student of mine because he listens to what I say. And one of the things we noticed was that there was no that uh, like when I was previously, when we started working with him is that there was no element of scarcity and urgency to people, for people to work with him. It was just an open thing. People could just join whenever. So what he's done and he's added this in a, like within a, within the, within days of me saying, do this, he's done it. So he's added, added a waiting list system, which means he's opening the doors only for a certain amount of time during the month. This adds scarcity and urgency to actually get people to join during a smaller window during the month. So he's a great example of a, of a client, a student of mine who just gets results because he listens to what I say. And that's one of the benefits of a having a coach, a mentor who can tell you do this. And look, the, the, he is amazing at his job. So he's been getting results for a while now. Like, like I, I don't know exactly how long they've been running this for, but they have great client results. So in their value delivery system, they've got awesome, awesome student results, which is amazing. And that gets fed into his YouTube channel. So Jake has a YouTube channel where he posts every like couple of weeks, he posts a video helping people out and showing showing him behind the scenes uh, of like what it's like running an Amazon FBA business. And that's like the big secret here, which again, I'll kind of go back to the point, there is no secret, but what Jake does really well is that he shows that he is a relatable, normal guy who just didn't see the sense of having a job and wanted to have his own freedom, running his own business. And this is the thing about like online businesses. The truth is it doesn't matter like, every single business model works every business model works but the thing is is that you've got to find the business model that works for you and for me the idea of like buying product buying stock buying inventory is like a nightmare because i've actually done that i've done that a few years ago i had my own e-commerce company and i hated it but for people like jake he loves it he loves the process of buying inventory buying stock and doing go through the process and some people absolutely love that too and so he's found businesses a business model that's worked for him. So we've got his authority content system and which is using our sales assets framework for YouTube. And then also he's got a low ticket community, which he hosts and pushes the content in there and then can upsell people into his mentorship program from the community. So this is an example of literally how this works. And like I said, you can, you can go to my Instagram account. You can see this is exactly what I do. You can go and funnel hack my funnel, but here's an example of someone else who's doing it, who's crushing it, who's pocketed 42K in the last like 16 weeks. Like that is super sick. And this is honestly, honestly just the start for him. Like this is, we've spent the last 16 weeks and my job as a coach is to help him build this infrastructure in the, in 16 weeks. He's done that now. Now it's time to really press the foot to the pedal and start building this. So what has he built? Because it would be very easy for me to say he's just done all this, but the truth is, is that Jake is an experienced entrepreneur. He's very, very, very hardworking. His brand is called like the hustle club, like hustle. Like he, he, he is the guy who kind of like is that kind of hustle culture dude. And it totally works because that is his, personality is personality is like someone who didn't didn't see like it making sense going and having a job doing the traditional thing and he's made his his brand around this kind of like the idea of having a side hustle to get your freedom which is super cool so he is the key key to jake is that he's authentic like 
he is a he is a hustler he is absolutely this type of guy who is like trying to has just done whatever it's taken to make it make it work but he's reached that point as an entrepreneur where he's got so much experience where he's just a just a super super legit entrepreneur and he knows his stuff one of the biggest challenges actually with jake was that he had a had a bit of like an aversion towards the traditional sales and marketing space. So when he came to me, he wanted to work with me to help him implement this implement this infrastructure because he had the Amazon FBA stuff down, but he didn't have the marketing and the sales stuff down. So what did I help him with? We're going to get into that now. Okay, so let's take this and imagine like this is a, a layer of an onion. We're like peeling back. We're now getting deeper into it. We're getting deeper into the system now. So we're going to actually break down every single one of these systems um, we're going to break down every single one of these systems. So the client attraction, client conversion, value delivery, and authority content systems. We're going to break down every single step. And the way I like to kind of explain this and position this is that your business, if the best way, and I, this is a, this is why I'm making this video is because this, this is a video that I wish I had went like two years ago. I wish someone could have made this and I could have seen this two years ago because this would have made things infinitely easier for me to see what do i need to do what do i need to build how how do i need to do like what is the business that i like just tell me what the business is and i'm just going to tell you today what the business is which is sick so this is something that i wish i had a couple of years ago now the key thing to understand here is that these systems they are all trying to get through constraints so when i say constraints that's because you have to think of your business as a pipe, like a pipeline. And the pipe is made up of different sections. And you, if you can imagine your, like any sort of pipe, like a hose, imagine a hose and you pinch the hose and that's going to stop the flow of water going through. Now, for your business to be profitable, to be freedom inducing, to get you to where you want to be, you, your pipe needs to be open the entire time. Like your pipe, pipe pipeline of your business needs to be allowing a flow of customers through permanently. Now, what that means is though, is that there could be areas of your pipe which have constraints. And what are the main constraints? The main constraints are not having enough leads, not having enough appointments, not having enough sales, and not having enough results. So what that means is that we have built systems to address each of those constraints. So the idea is that we have a big pool of potential customers which we call the market. And then you open up a tap, which is turning on ads and producing content. And then your customers start flowing through this pipeline, eventually getting to the point where they become happy customers by the end of working with you. So let's go through this in more detail. So we're gonna zoom in here. So first up, we've got the client attraction system. Now, as you guys know, we have our one simple ad on Instagram. So that's our Instagram ad. So that's the first step. Now, the key with this is that your ad will not work if it doesn't hook the right people. So what we do with our ad is that we we can use, there's a couple of different methods you can use. You can either use the call out method where you are just like, hey, are you a on, an online coach struggling to scale past 5K per month? Which is what I say. Now, what that does is that if that is not you, that the person is just going to scroll. They're just going to scroll past the ad. They're not going to watch the ad. So it's because it's not relevant. And what that does is that that builds data for, Insta for Meta to know, okay, this ad needs to be pushed in front of these pe these other people. So what we do is we either call people out. We can also use hooks for that have been, that have worked for viral organic content because that tends to work really well for ads. But the key is that you are calling out and you are saying, this is for this person. If you're not this person, keep scrolling. So we have to have a hook because if the hook doesn't work, then that's going to constrain the pipe. People will not be able to flow through your system because the ad will not perform. Now we have a call to action, which is the follow me. So you're going to follow me. If you are an online coach stuck at 5K per month, wants to scale to 10, 15, 20K, 30K per month and beyond, then follow me here on Instagram. That's our call to action. We then have a pinned video in our profile. And again, you can go to see, I've got, other videos which you'll see, which we go into detail about profile optimization and the exact one simple ad strategy. I just kind of run, want to run you through the entire system today. But we have a pinned video on our Instagram profile, which is like an introduction video. And the pinned video says, hey, I see you're new here. My name's Tom. This is what I do. This is how I help people. And 
I want you to go and check out my main video that's pinned in my Instagram bio. So we have a link to your YouTube VSL in the bio of your Instagram uh, profile. So if you go to my Instagram profile, you'll be able to see that there. So that is our client attraction system. Sick, we've got a way to get people who don't have a clue who we are in the market to suddenly knowing who the hell we are. And these are potentially perfect perfect future clients, uh, which is super sick. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to warm them up and nurture them over a period of time with our authority content system. Now, the key thing to remember with marketing is that let's say you get 100, 100 people follow you. Like out of those 100 people that are going to follow you, like 99 of them, it is not the right time for them to work with you. So what do you do? Well, you need to nurture them. You need to make sure that you actually take them over a period of time and warm them up. So that's why we have a cut, like a bunch of different mechanisms to do that. So first up we have, we have, they've watched our VSL and they start watching other videos on our YouTube channel. So they start binging our content because it's relevant to them. We also start retargeting them on Facebook or on, on Instagram with Facebook ads, with Instagram ads. And super simple. Um, again, I'll be kind of going into a bit more detail that in, in future videos, how we, we run like what I call like an omnipresent retargeting strategy where we retarget our customers, our new followers with ads that are showcasing what we do, how we help people so that we are top of mind to people all the time. And the beauty of that is that these are super cheap ads. It's really cheap to be able to retarget to your existing audience. Then we either have a free or low ticket community, which we nurture people in there with content. We then also like once again, when it, when the time gets right. So those 99 people that the timing isn't right when it's right for them to start working with us, they're going to watch our VSL again and like either on our YouTube channel or in our community. And then eventually they are going to schedule a call. Now there is an alternative pathway for this where we, once they, uh, we've connected with them in on Instagram, when they followed us, we send them a DM. So we either do this ourselves or we have an appointment setter who sends them a DM and we start having conversations. We start doing discovery uh, where we're asking questions about their current situation, their desired situation, what is currently holding them back, what challenges are they facing, and then we eventually schedule them onto a call. And we invite them onto a call, and that is the that is the end of our authority content system. Next up, we've actually got we've got the client conversion system, which is taking people from someone who knows who we are, who might be warm, into an actual paying client. So this is the sales system, the conversion system. So first up, once we've scheduled the call, that is only 50% of the work done. The other 50% is getting them to the call. So we have a number of mechanisms that we set up to massively increase the chance of them showing up to a call. So first up is we get them to make sure that they've confirmed the call and accepted the calendar invite in their emails. So that's really important. This is so that their, their calendar actually sends them notifications that there's a call coming up today in half an hour's time. So it's really important that they uh, accept the calendar invitation. We then send them a pre-call prep video. This is done through a Calendly automation. So this is set up in Calendly where we send them, we record a short little video, very casual style where we just say, hey, thank you for booking this call. I want to be respectful of your time. And I know, and just in, in uh, like in return, I'd like you to be respectful of my time, my, my time. We have a no, like a zero kind of a zip, like one strike policy. So if you don't show up to the call uh, or if you cancel like last minute and it's not a genuine emergency, we just will not speak to you again, like super simple. Uh, so we send them this video to make sure that there's a massively higher chance of them showing up. We are aiming for an 80% show rate on our calls. We've also got a bunch of other Calendly reminders that we set up. These are different workflows that we've got set up that send emails, texts, and um, different messages at different times to remind people that they've got a call with us. Really key, we send a DM, a message to them the morning of the call, reminding them saying, hey, really excited to listen, really excited for us to chat at 1 p.m. Uh, and we say the time of the call because that's really important. I've had loads of times where there are people who I've said, hey, after the call, and then they don't show and they're like, oh, I got the time wrong. And I'm like, how? And that's because we didn't have all this stuff set up. So once we've set that up, we make sure we remind them morning of the call. We say, hey, really looking forward to our call at 2 p.m. Are you are you cool? Are you, are you still cool for our call at 2 p.m. today? 
um, just to get that confirmation. They show to the first call and then we get through onto the first call. Now, I, I prefer a system where we do a two call um, a two call close. So we have a first triage call of 20 minutes. This is a much more effective way to use our time that I found. So we have a first call of a 20 minute triage call and we set the frame of the, set the frame and the agenda for the call. We get them to clarify why they're there. We get them to label their pain. We get them to, we go through a series of discovery questions where we understand what is going on in their, like in their business, what is going on in their life? What are they trying to achieve? What do they want to do? Where they want to get to? What are the pain? What are the problems that they're currently experiencing? And then right when we're, we've got that information, we're like, amazing. So the aim is to figure out if you actually think you can help this person and there will be a bunch of people that you can't help. And at the end of that process, you're going to say, Hey, I think I can really help you or, Hey, I'm really sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you, but here's a recommendation and you point them in the direction to whatever else. And, but if they are, if they qualify for the second call, you say, Hey, I really think I can help you. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now. Let's book you into a second call. So that is the qualification done. So that's the qualification step done by doing a triage call, 20 minute triage call. And the key is you book them onto the call on that first call you make sure that you get the get the calendar invite sent accepted and confirmed and you make sure that the call is ideally within the next 48 hours no longer than that so we get them a again dm reminder the morning of the second call we get them to show up to the second call we set the frame and agenda the key is we go through the entire process again so we go through all of the exact same the same things again clarify and label the pain go through the discovery questions go through the pain and then this is when we start going into deeper stuff, which is where we are going to get them to paint a picture of their dream island vision. And we are going to help them with this process. Again, we're not going to go into too much into that much detail here. I'm going to be dropping like loads of loads of like heat on like exact sales structure um, over the like coming weeks and different videos. Again, once we've done this, we then go into why, like why do they want to achieve this dream island vision? What is actually driving and motivating them? We then go on to pitch our product and service, whatever that is, and we answer any questions, we explain what the next steps are, and then we pitch the price. We then go through objection handling if there is any. We then agree payment terms, and really key, you agree payment terms and or you take a deposit on the call. And the deposit can be a very small amount, a nominal amount, but the key is to get some sort of financial commitment on that call. And we do that, make sure that's done. We then take the initial payment, uh, so I use pay funnels for this just to make it works really, really, really simply. You can do kind of like subscription type payments. You can do monthly payments. You can do very custom payments. Really great, uh, great thing. And you can use it. You can set these up live on a call. And the key to this, when you're taking the deposit, taking the call, you do not send them the link. You take down their credit card details and you fill in the invoice itself. You fill in the the uh, the, the card details yourself. Do not send the link to them. Get on the call, make sure the deposit and the, or the initial first call, first payment is taken on that call. Because the truth is, is people, people for what, for lack of a better term, they bitch out, like they just get cold feet and they get scared and then they do not commit. That's why we do this and we make sure we get them committing on the call. And remember, you've gone through all this process. You've highlighted this. You can, that you can help this person. People hate change. This is the biggest part of sales that you have to understand. And the biggest part of objection handling is that people don't want to change. So you have to help them guide them through this process by actually committing to it. Okay. Next up, we set expectations. We send, and this is where we're like, this is what you, you're going to expect. You're literally just going to walk them through a list of like, Hey, this is what's coming up over the next 48 hours. Send them a welcome email, which has got the contract in. They sign the contract. We then wait 24 hours. This is really important. We don't give them immediate access to our community and resources. We need a 24 hour cool off period for them to simmer down after making a big commitment. Um, so their emotions are going to be high just after they've committed. So what we want to do is we're going to wait 24 hours and that's when we're going to grant access to the community and the resources. And that is the client conversion system. Okay, next up, we have then got the value delivery system. So this is actually getting client results. So really key, we have an onboarding video for them to watch, which is you explaining exactly what they need to do to get results with how you work with them. This is a really critical part to 
increase the likelihood of them adhering to the principles and the process that you set out. And this just needs to showcase exactly what to expect, exactly how they're going to get results and exactly what to do next. You then get them to intro themselves to the community. So give them a template to, to use and they're going to intro, introduce themselves to the rest of your community. You're going to get them to fill out an onboarding questionnaire. You're then going to have an onboarding workshop where you are going to go through setting expectations. That is all that onboarding workshop should be about is setting expectations. But what you need to do on that onboarding workshop is you need to re reconfirm to them why they made the decision to make this commitment really important that you go through again you need to confirm with them again what was it that made them want to commit to this change and get them to clarify again okay yes this is what i want to do this is why i'm here and this is really really important to do to get them to buy in again to this process you then agree on success criteria so just for every single person is different. Every single person has a different set of skills and history leading up to when, where, how and when you're going to work with them. So the success criteria is going to be different for different people. So you need to agree mutually. Okay. What do we think together? What do we think would be a great successful outcome for the, for the partnership that we're about to embark on? Then, uh, we use a customer success tracker. So we have a dashboard spreadsheet where we success, we track all of the milestones for our students. And I'll kind of give you a bit of a glimpse into that in a second. Then they go through the training modules. So module one, module two, module three, four, five, and six. And then after they've, they've gone through that training material, they complete our customer success tracker to show that they have actually gone through that material. Next up, we then have a clarity workshop two weeks after onboarding. So this is to go through and really get clear on, okay, this is what we are going to do over the next to like however long time you're going to work with people. Um, and the goal of this is to highlight some quick win projects. So this is like, how are we going to deliver really fast results really quickly? And you are going to do that by, by highlighting some quick win projects related to your customer success, uh, kind of like, um, journey. Okay. This is where we go on to the delivery of the actual kind of uh, whatever you whatever you do. You might have a, this is just my example. So we do one-on-one -on -one coaching and we do group coaching as well. So we have one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching and group coaching. Now, depending on where the person is in their journey, they're either going to go on to then build their program or build either a V1 light version or build their, their full version. They are going to launch their program. Again, they are going to then build their success KPI tracking for their students. They are going to create a wins database. So they're going to create like a, uh, we've got a wins database on Airtable, which is where we collect all of our information, where we sell, where we save and collect a database of all of the wins of all of our students. And then the key thing is you need to give them some goddamn time. You need to give them time to get results. And this is the one thing that people miss. Like they, like it, they may not see big wins for a while. It may take longer than expected for them to get get results and it typically will. So you need to give people enough time. Um, they get more results then. They then give you testimonials. You then interview them and create a case study and then you turn those into sales assets. You get happy customers and you put those sales assets into YouTube and Spotify and school and Instagram. And that is how the flywheel, the attraction and authority flywheel works. Okay. And just to show you how we do things, we do our success tracking. So how, how do we track the progress of this? Simple. We use the principle of checklists. So some of you may be familiar. I come from the medical background. So I, when I used to be a dentist, um, we had surgical procedures and we always had checklists to make sure that we had the right equipment. And this is the same for the airline industry as well. So checklists are the true key to success and so we have a dashboard system you can see we've got multiple tabs here where we are literally just saying have you done this yes or no super simple is this done yes no and here is the links to each of the trainings for people to go and figure this out so this is actually this is actually two or three times longer than this but this is how we turn this into a business and yeah if you thought that was useful like go give me a thumbs up, hit, hit, this, hit me with a, uh, hit me with a like, uh, make sure to subscribe and I will 
see you in the next one. Right, if you thought that was good, then you're gonna enjoy this next video. This is gonna be a full in-depth breakdown of exactly how to do our one simple ad protocol. And that video is located right there.